Hi there, the following short video is a video to do with RFID and um, this is using the EM4102 um, tags um, so it's a cheap unit which I purchased from eBay I've just done some modifications to the unit I've um, patched a wire in so that the LED only lights when there is a valid um, RFID tag instead of being on all the time so I'll probably fit another LED into the case um, that stays on all the time when there's power and then that one will be strictly for when it's been triggered the RFID um, I hadn't got one of the 8 pin Molex connectors to um, fit onto the terminal there the, well I had but I decided not to use it the only one which I'd got was um, at some point used on an old motherboard to link a 9 pin serial port uh, I was going to go that method and then I f thought for the sake of 3 pins it wasn't worth bothering so I've had to put an appropriate bridge in which was asked for um, because 12 volts has to be supplied to 2 pins which is the, t the top row the second pin in and the fourth one which is the last pin across those are affixed to 12 volts pin 3 on the top row which would be the one between the two live connections is your ground connection okay so I've done that and we've got 12 volts supplied those are the two modifications that I've okay carrying on from where I just left off and um, just had to replace the batteries in my camera um, yes, those are the only modifications that I've made so far to the unit. I will be making further modification so that the unit can operate a solenoid or electric lock. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, I will be implanting um, two EM4102 tags um, over the next few weeks into my hands. Uh, one will be located between the forefinger and the thumb of that hand approximately approximately in the centre of the crease and the same with the other hand so I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time okay here we go first of all I'm going to show that the tags are getting no response at the moment until what I have to do is to program them I have to put this which is a master tag onto there just for a few seconds then take it away put the tag there you go I've now just added that tag okay this other tag is currently non-responding because you need to pass the master tag so we take the master tag we put that there again only for a few seconds pull it away there we go that tags now programmed so we've got that tag or that tag this unit can use up to 25 tags to re delete all tags all you would simply do is put this onto the antenna for 20 seconds and that will erase it I'm not sure how you go about erasing a tag um, maybe you can erase a tag in the same method let's see if that would work so we pass the master tag then put the tag that I want to erase let's see if if that would work no ah oh, okay oh, that's a shame so by the looks of it you can only erase all tags in one go but I can't complain um, it was a very cheap unit and uh, as I say it will it will do the task which I wish it to do and it will work along with the implantable tag uh, which I'll be using which will be an EM4102 implantable bio tag which will be um, 12 millimeters long by 2 millimeters diameter okay thank you for watching this video and I'll be posting um, further videos in the future to do with RFID um, I'll be also posting some more videos um, in relation to the J5 project shortly over the next few days. Uh, thank you very much.